Okay guys, so today you're going to be getting out this uh, paper, which is in your long E packet. And this is the Curious George um, writing that we're gonna be doing today. So I want you to listen to the story that I'm gonna read and then you are going to be writing about the mistakes that he makes. Now, I'm gonna read a story, Curious George in the aquarium, but it's okay if you want to use another Curious George story because in every story he always makes mistakes. So it doesn't matter what Curious George story you use, I'm just gonna pick the one that I have here at my house, but you can choose a different one if you want, okay? So here is the story. So this is Curious George at the Aquarium. And it says there by R.P. Anderson. All right, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the best I can to show you the pictures too. It says, this is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and the man with the yellow hat were visiting the aquarium. George, said the man, please wait here while I buy the tickets. George tried to wait, but he was so excited. What was inside? He wanted to look over the walls, but they were too high. Just then he heard a splash and a whoosh. Water flew high into the air. People cheered. What could that be? George was curious. He hopped over the gate into the aquarium. How surprised he was. So there's his first thing he did wrong, which is jump over the wall. Swimming right in front of George were two beluga whales. The mother and baby beluga whale swam right past him. And not far away was a family of sea lions diving and splashing. What fun! George noticed people walking toward a big door. Could there be more to see? He followed the crowd. Now where was he? It was darker inside and there were fish everywhere. George did not know where to look first. In one tank, there were sharp toothed piranhas. In another tank, there were seahorses. And in another tank, there was a large red octopus. George saw a group of children across the room. An aquarium staff member was pointing to different sea creatures. This is a starfish, this is a clam, and this is an urchin. Nearby, there was a long, low, colorful tank, and it was perfect for touching. George was curious. As he reached his hand into the water, a large crab came scuttling out from under a rock and right toward his finger. Snap! Ouch! Poor George. He did not like this exhibit. George slipped out a door into the sunlight, but what was going on here? George saw fat, funny looking black and white fish flying under the water. As he watched, they flew up out of the water. What kind of fish does that? And where did they go? George wondered. George climbed up into their exhibit. They were not fish at all, but penguins, of course. George hopped like a penguin, flapped his wings like a penguin, and waddled like a penguin. A crowd gathered and laughed, but when he slid on his belly like a penguin, the aquarium staff stopped by to check on the penguins. A monkey in the penguin exhibit? George opened a door to escape, but instead all the penguins ran out. Penguins, penguins everywhere. The staff was angry at George. How could they catch all the penguins? In the excitement, nobody noticed the penguin chick falling into the water. No one but George. The baby penguin hadn't learned how to swim yet. Oh, as only a monkey can, George scaled the rope hanging over the beluga tank and swung over the water, saving the chick. The director of the aquarium and the man with the yellow hat 
heard the commotion and came running. The monkey helped the baby penguin, said a boy in the crowd. No one else could have saved him, said a girl. The director thanked George for his help and made him an honorary staff member at the aquarium. And that is the end. George said goodbye to his new penguin friends. He could not wait to come back to the aquarium and visit them again. So I'm gonna show you my example of writing. Again, this is not the story you have to write about, but you can pick another Curious George story if you want. So here's my writing. I put Curious George made a lot of mistakes at the aquarium. First, he hopped over the gate to the aquarium. Next, he touched the animals inside the tank when he wasn't supposed to. A crab snapped his finger. Last, he went into the penguin exhibit. He let all the penguins out. Clearly, George is curious and gets into a lot of trouble at the aquarium. So I did my writing. I underlined my greens and my yellows. If you wanted to add a red sentence, you can, which just explains the yellow. So my yellow sentence was next. He touched the animals inside the tank when he wasn't supposed to. And my red sentence tells more about that. A crab snapped his finger, okay? So that is my red sentence. You do not have to have red sentences, but you do need to have your five sentences like we always do in class. So your topic sentence, three, first, next, to the last, your transition sentences, and then your clearly, or as you can see, it can be another conclusion word that you use if you would like. And that needs to be written out. Again, as always, take a picture of your writing and I will check it off and give you a signature. Have a good time with your writing and reading. Bye.